I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll explore mean value theorem. Mean value theorem states that if we have a continuous differentiable function within an interval, so the function should be continuous within a closed interval. So let's say between A and between B. So that becomes a closed interval. Let's say these are these are the two points on the function. Continuous within the closed interval means that if these points are kind of connected with some curve which is smooth, right? In that case, the smooth curve will be ensuring that the function is differentiable within this interval also, right? So what we are considering here is a function f of x which is continuous within the closed interval a and b and is differentiable between this interval open interval a and b in that case there is a number c within this interval open interval a and b that means between a and b such that the derivative f dash c is equals to f b minus f a divided by b minus a right so that is what it is now let's try to understand what this is so let f be a function that satisfies following hypothesis one f is continuous on the closed interval a b so we're just taking a function which is continuous within this interval from a to b and f is differentiable on the open interval a b that means it's a smooth curve we don't have any cusp and corners in between or discontinuous okay that's already covered okay then there is a number c somewhere in between such that f dash c is equals to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a now what is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so if we're considering these two points then f of b minus f of a really represents the average rate of change. This represents average rate of change between these two points, right? So this slope, average rate of change between these two points. And what is f dash c? we are saying f dash c f dash c is is the slope right that is the instantaneous rate of change so in a way the mean value theorem so so we can say that the mean value theorem in short we can write like mvt um, actually links the two. It says that there is a point C in open interval A, B where the instantaneous rate of change is equals to average rate of change. Do you see that? This is one way of interpreting the mean value theorem, right? So what we can see from here is that if I take this function and draw a line which is parallel to this average rate of change, I could draw one here and maybe one here, right? So, so these two points will be my C's, right? So this will be this point is, I can say this is C1, the other one I'll call this as C2. So as you can see that in this closed interval A and B, the function is continuous and differentiable and so we have at least one in this case we have two points c1 and c2 where the derivative f dash c has the same value as quotient difference f b minus f a over b minus a so this is one interpretation of mean value theorem you could link it with average and instantaneous rate of change right at times we also uh, well write this equation in a different form we can write this as f of b 
I mean, okay, we can write, we'll just cross multiply this, right? So we can write this as, let me write here, B minus A times F dash C equals to F of B minus F of A, right? So we could also write like this, or difference of these values, F of B minus F of A is equals to F dash C times B minus C. So this equation could also be written in this form, right? So it kind of gives you uh, equation of a line kind of thing, right? So that could also be done. Now, there is one more important thing which we can conclude from here. That is to say, what happens if, so we are considering case two, let's say we consider case one, what happens when f of b is equals to f of a? So if f of b is equals to f of a, then what we get here is that f dash c will be equals to zero, right? So if this is equal to that, then anything divided by f of b, right, it will be zero. That means we are saying that this point is kind of like this horizontally placed right so in that case the derivative will be zero right so now this is a special case we are saying that if f of b is equals to f of a in that case there will be at least some point f that c is there will be a number c in open interval such that f dash c is zero right so so what we are saying here is that there exists, in that case, there is a number C in the open interval A and B such that F dash C is equal to zero, right? So that is what we are deriving from here. And this is what is Rolle's theorem, right? And that is what is Rolle's theorem. Right. So what we conclude here is that a special case of mean value theorem is Rolle's theorem, right? So uh, that is one way of saying it. Okay. Now another case which we could uh, discuss is, let me write case two, is that what happens for a constant function, that is to say, if for all values, if for all x, if f of b equals to f of a for all values of x, right, for x belongs to all the values within the interval a to b, in that case what happens? Now if that happens, if it is always equal, in that case f dash c will be always zero, right? Always zero. That means what? That means that the function is constant. That means f of x is constant. That means f of x is a constant function. Okay, so, so we could say for a constant function, the other way, for a constant function, f of b will always be equals to f of a, and if that is the case, then f dash c will always be zero, right? So the derivative of, of constant function is zero. So second thing which we have concluded here is that derivative of a constant function is zero. Right. So, so we could conclude that also uh, from mean value theorem. So as you can see, uh, from this understanding, we have derived two important conclusions. One is that if in this interval, the value of f of b and f of a are same, in that case, there will exist a number c, so that f dash c is zero, which is Rolle's theorem. And second conclusion is that for if every value of a between a and b, these are equal. That means we are talking about a constant function, right? So if f of x is constant, 
if I say f of x equals to k, in that case f of b is k, f of a is also k, so their difference will always be 0. In that case, f dash c will always be 0, right? So, in a way, we are saying derivative of a constant function is 0. So, that's second very important conclusion from mean value theorem. We'll take a few examples which will and explore mean value theorem further. I hope you understand and appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.